I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it with some sanding sealer, let it dry, then we're gonna come back and we'll shape it, because I'm, I'm afraid this is gonna rip out if I don't, it's already starting to as you can see, so I'll do that and I'll bring you back. Alright, well I got this all sanded up on the inside here, inside the cup. I'll show you that in a little bit. Up to 500 grit. And we're going to come and we're going to, we're going to shape this out a little bit. Um, then uh, we're going to do some. We'll do some. We're just going to see how it goes. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, I had to change that out a little bit. I'll show you. I uh, changed out to this because in all honesty, that tennis ball sucked. All right, so let's get back to it. Alright, I think I'm going to turn the speed up on it now and uh, bring it back. Alright, while we got the speed turned up, let's see what we can do with it. you can see that but 
right in there. It is, it is awful punky, punky wood. Yeah, I could sink my fingernail into it, so that's pretty punky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some OB Shine juice on it, just as a sanding sealer, because it's a little thinner, a little thinner than the sanding sealer that I got, and it'll soak into the pores a little more, I think. I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll come back when it's dry. soak in not too worried about it love the spalting on this oak just very pretty so see if we can't save it if not well then oh well but either way it'll turn into something pretty I'm sure Looks like we got a halfway decent bead. It did get a little tear out right there. Sanding should take care of that. Um, to decide. Decisions. Decisions must be made. shape now we're gonna sand these up and uh, get this all sanded up and ready to cut these free all right I'll show you a little bit now I'm gonna cut you off and I'll bring you back when it's finished this punky wood has, has gotten kind of like off tilted from the sanding I guess because it's punky and it's 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 uh it's weaker than the regular wood so we're gonna I'm gonna try to center that out a little bit I think we'll see what happens it may I may ruin it but if I do oh well looks like it's still kind of flat there I could I could keep going with it but I'm afraid that the more I keep going with it the smaller it's going to get um, that's a possibility I could make it smaller or I could leave it oblong but uh, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to put some sanding sealer on it and let it dry. 
and then I'll come back and I'll straighten it out because I'd rather have a small ring that's round than one that's that looks like a flat tire. So <laughs> I'll bring it back when it's when it's ready to go, okay? We're going to have a couple of different sizes here, but hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? All right, I'm going to get some, I'm going to do some sanding um, on the rings. And then I'll bring you back when that's done, because then we'll cut them free. All right, we're going to put the sanding paste on there now. So I'll bring you in for that. People like to see this for some reason, I don't know. Because it changes the color of the wood. We're going to do the beads because I won't get a chance to do them like this once they're cut free. restoring paste on it and then I'll cut these buggers free and then we'll keep going and we'll keep doing the rest of the goblet. Putting on the restoring paste now. That's the axe re polish and restoring paste. I got the uh, I already did it with the axe abrasive paste. That's what I was doing before was with the axe restoring paste. Or the axe sanding abrasive paste. This is the finishing paste, the uh, restoring paste. you can see it or not but these are cut so tight that they can't even hardly move back and forth I like these picks let's cut off to his grand all right let's uh let's bring the shaft down so these can actually move
right, let me sand up this shaft and I'm going to have to tape these down. Or, well, maybe not. But I got to sand this up either way. And uh, I'll bring it back. It's all that punky wood. That punky wood right there. There's punky wood. That stuff doesn't even like to be sanded. So we'll see how that goes. Then I'll I'll uh, I'll uh, put some finish on it and after it's all sanded and whatnot and we'll call this bugger good. Cut it off and call it good. All right. All right, well, I got the sandpaper taped on the shaft so that I can sand the inside of these rings. So I'm going to pull that one over and we'll do this one first. Good enough. I'm going to sand this up and uh, hit this bottom part real good, top. That's pretty sanded already. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll show you a little bit and then I'll bring you back when it's finished. I gotta finish up the sanding of this and all that and I'll bring you back when I'm finished. Alright guys, we got our sanded up as sanded up as high as I'm gonna go with it. And I gotta use some axe sanding paste. We'll uh get her started here. Let's wipe some of this on. I'm gonna use this green scrubby pad because I I seen Tom talk about it then I went over and watched the wood whirler do it and it seems to work really well so you know if it works good use it right <laughs> Not bad. What do you think? Let's see if I can't just lay up. No, that didn't help at all, did it? Oh, there we go. How's that look? We'll get you right in there. Look at that spalting. It's just beautiful. Alright, let's back you out just a little bit. There we go. What do you think? Alright, so let's get some of this on there. Put this up there.
Mm, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Don't look bad at all. All right. We will. That does it for the axe polish. We'll hit it with some OB Shine Juice. It's a couple of coats and we'll call it good. We'll flip it around and we'll cut off the, the tenon. Looks pretty good to me. Now I could put a bunch more coats on there, but I'm not gonna. Um, I think it looks pretty just like it is. So I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna cut that tendon off, hopefully, without uh, doing too much damage. We'll see what we can do here. Let's, uh, all right, I got it in there about as tight as I dare to. Afraid I'll crack that globe, that goblet cup. Let's uh, get this straight. I'll come up and we'll take this foot off. All right. My friends, is how it's done. Put that on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't put no OB shine juice on the inside. There you go. All done. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, I'm glad you did. And if you're new to the channel and you're just watching for the first time, Consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Because if you don't ring that bell, YouTube won't tell you. All right. I'm your buddy. I'm your friend. I'm Dark Matter. And I'm out.